We're here at WJGZ. Yes. Cool TV. Yes. And the coolest station in the world. You're watching live on Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Twitch. Make sure you wa like, subscribe, share, and comment. And if you would like to sponsor or advertise on this platform, email WJZZCoolTVOfficial at gmail.com. All right. All right. So we're, here. we're here. Yes. We're here. We're here. We've had <laughs> quite a day, everybody. Yes. yes and we literally day. flew home, got sat down for maybe an hour, and flew to the station. <laughs> and we're here. Should we tell yes. them where we went? Yeah. yeah. We were at Detroit. No, it's TEDx, TEDx. X Detroit. TEDx Detroit. And we were all there showing art. It was fantastic. The energy. Oh, yes. my God. Yes, we were actually... Was. We were sponsoring artists. We was here, about three of us, mm -hmm. and it was so cool. That was it just was. so cool. So. I um, I've never been to TEDx before. I've seen the TED talks and stuff like that, but that was my first time going. Yeah. So how about you? how about I've you? Been, I was the one at, at the also. Fox Theater. It was yeah. I was actually there. Got to sit through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just fantastic. So and it was at the old double the old. UAW. UAW Hall, um, right off the river is what I call it. Fantastic building. Yes. So it was really cool. It was. It was really cool. Really. So what wound up happening, and shout out to uh, Jennifer Crawford. Yes. At Jennifer, all things Detroit. Um, she put together the marketplace uh, going on um, right outside of the TED Talk. So we got to display artwork, and, you know, we do pop-up galleries. So we got to put up a pop-up gallery at TEDx Detroit. And I love how it was received, you know, um, was, we got to be right, right by the music. As they right walked in, the, they seen you know, it. Was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Walk so in excited. and it's like, bam, art, you know, and not just any type of art, right. but just. It's the best art in the city. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. We really got a chance to present well. Yes. And I just, I really did enjoy that. Oh, it was yes. absolutely fantastic. I would have liked to have sat in. I did sit in a little mm -hmm. bit and kind of listen to the people and stuff like that. We can kind of go over that, mm -hmm. but let's talk about you. Yeah. Wow, yes, I'm glad, I'm glad you had, um, surprised me today and yes, asked me to was, come on. Yeah. Well, we're honored but to have you, really. Yes. We're honored to have you. And this worked out, but I say things work out for a reason. Mm -hmm. And yes. this was the reason. Yes, you yes. Know? Mm -hmm. So he was so great. You I know? was so um, excited and surprised when I received a call last night to uh <laughs> <laughs> it was like can you bring some artwork okay i'll be there <laughs> uh, yeah it was and it was at the moment i was driving to just picking up my picking up my wife from working and about to drop her off so yes i i love every opportunity to uh, present my art yes. to wow the public <laughs> yeah, he just wowed us i'm gonna tell you he had different artwork up there we walk in and we're going <laughs> Whoa! It was like it was a, it was a jaw dropper. Wow, it is so you. fantastic. I'm That's looking at this insane. piece and it's just it's incredible. Thank you. It's thank really you. incredible. It's like you just like I said, you level up each and every time. It's like every single time I see his work in person. It's more dynamic than the last time I saw it. Yes, wow. yes. That, that, you know, and you're known for shining. But then it's like, wait a minute, like it looks like it looks like glass on the wall. Yeah, or crystals. Yeah, yeah. Crystals. yeah it's a different medium. It's yeah, a different it's medium. Wonderful. The, the perfect um, um, sealant that you use. Oh, you know, it all depends if you choose a matte or a gloss. But um, it all you know with those different glosses to give that effect of that glassy look, as you say. <laughs> Asta. See, you. I see almost like a lady, kind of like her head back, and kind of, you know, it's, it's just, I mean, I walked in and went, whoa. <laughs> that's, the, that's my whole life, that's my whole goal, is to have you the wow. engaged. Yes, the wow. engaged. I call it wow. The, the, the wow. 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 That's the new thing. That's the wow. See, then this one is mm -hmm. like, I'm going to turn this so that wow. we can see here so y'all can so see. So why don't you tell us what size that piece is? Well, this piece, this is a um, 20 by 20. And it's on canvas? On, on stretched um, on gallery. Canvas. Canvas. Okay. Yeah. So what is and the difference uh, between, what is a gallery? So a lot of people don't the, know. Yes, yeah. the, 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 I, I found out through um, working with different canvases that once you go through the three level style of a um, gallery style it's thicker it's a thicker um, so canvas. the canvas or the, or the old, whole board the wood is the thicker wood is and it's bonded oh. stronger you know okay. it's, it's better a, canvas and, and the canvas is thicker because you can you can purchase okay. some um, pieces of canvases 
where it's just thin. Yeah. And yeah. then you can't you can't apply that much paint. Really? Right. I didn't it, know that. Yeah, it starts sinking. Well, you in. learn something new every day. Now, when also, you guys it's not stapled. They actually wrap it a certain way so right. that it looks a little better. Oh, now, when you're putting it on walls or with the intent of hanging it on gallery surfaces, you I don't have to worry that. about it right. scratching. Wow, you they had just had a lesson on canvas. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you get a blank canvas, what do you have to do to prepare it to paint to paint on it? Well, some t with me, I just go at it. Okay. Sometimes it all what I vision that I want to put onto the canvas. I might prepare it with some gesso, okay. you know, layers of gesso. To yeah. really you want to explain to people what that is? The gesso is like a uh, medium, a white, um, somewhat like paint medium okay. that you use just to prepare. So why the, do you um, put that on? You pr to prepare the um, canvas yes. okay. so that the paint that you're about to apply can just be okay. Uh, okay. showing. Okay, uh, properly. I didn't know that. You know, I yeah. knew sometimes they put it on, but I didn't know the reason why. Yeah. So I thought, perfect opportunity to ask. I, you know, I know you always paint, but I just never thought to ask. Because sometimes I believe, well, I've, from experience, it, that if you don't put that on, then you have to keep putting layers of paint to get oh. that color okay. that you really look oh, for. It's like the, like the base coat on your nails. Okay, or my, oh, like my glaze. So yeah, like yeah. a... Uh, well, on the first, before they put, you know, where you go to the nail shop, they put right. the base coat and then they put yeah, the polish yeah, on. Yeah. It also gives you a smoother surface to start off with, too. I didn't know that. Um, it's okay. supposed to help the paint adhere a little better, but that's, you know, that kind of depends on the quality of paint that you use. That's yeah. true, too. But like just talking about says, that you don't have to layer as many paints to get the oh. vibrant color. It's a primer. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. A primer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, we're doing all this. It's <laughs> trying to go all through primer. it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, is this <laughs> oil or is this acrylic? No, this is acrylic. Okay. And then, um, by me being an abstract um, creator, I just love experimenting with different mediums. Okay. There's so many different mediums that you can find, like Home Depot and then at Michaels, uh -huh. that we just overlook that you can use mm -hmm. to give different effects of your painting. Mm -hmm. So, now what? How do you come up with the colors? Like with this particular one? Well, if I'm in, if I'm in that if I'm in that energy of that blue, however, mm -hmm. then I grab different mediums of that blue. Like this certain blue is that uh, stain, which is that which is called uh, a unicorn spit. Oh, okay. that, that's what they named it. Okay. Unicorn, unicorn spit. Because they see a little red, yeah. and, then and it has a little maroon. glitter within. Mm -hmm. the, and then, like I say, the stain it really blocks that color. Wow. Right there, you know. But then um, you have other blues that I might right. bring in, and then uh, other colors of stain, which yeah. give different effects to show the different colors of the blues, mm -hmm. you know, and to show them the, the depths wow. and three D. Staring at it. Like I know. <laughs> I keep looking at it. Going. Uh, the, <laughs> the video and the pictures, the cameras don't do it justice. It's one of those pieces you really do have to see your work in per in person. Yes, I um, do respect. Because of all of the textures and nuances that go in it, not just the colors, but it's just it, it almost looks like rock, it looks like stone, it looks like gem, Gems it looks like and diamonds and <laughs> emeralds and gold, and it just looks very rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just have you that, that, that engaging, yeah. you know, it just yeah. have you a non stop engaging. His work, That's your right. work has really evolved. Thank you. Really Thank you. evolved. I remember when we first met you. It was, yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. I mean, it was really cool, but I mean, this is really into Thank it. Thank you. Thank like, you. Wow. That's <laughs> what I've been doing. I've been, um, well, yeah, disappeared into my studio. It's okay. And then wanted to come up with some Something, different, you know, right. like be creative, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So like I say, when I do decide to come with a form in my um, abstract, I want it to be a strong piece. And that's why I throw the 3D mm -hmm. in there so that I you like can that. see so talk to the us devil, about this the levels guy. of it. But th this one here, this is a this is a painting or that comes from a photo of Martin Luther King when mm -hmm. he was incarcerated. Oh, really? Yeah. And like you say, a photo has a thousand words. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. so it's all about what the individual when they see a photo, what they feel and grab. Right from that photo. So okay. when I seen that photo, I automatically seen him in a moment of praising, you know, even though he's incarcerated, but 
he's still giving praise to God. <coughs> but then, like I say, when I looked at the photo, I actually seen a uh, a, 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 a barrier, mm-hmm. a spiritual barrier around him. So that's why I created that. So you're really you know, moved by the photo. Yes, that's yes. Just, and the right. message you're in there, that, <laughs> that, 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 that yeah. you never give up, you still get praise. Right, you know, right. No it's matter what situation you're in, you still get praise. Just, and then you see it's like a protecting barrier that he has around him. And I like the frame that you have with it. It's very, Thank you. It's I, very I classy always, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I, I, like, I always love to um, try to frame my own work okay. and be creative in that also, you know. Not only are you in creating the piece, right. then you have to be creative to find a, the perfect frame that wow. that bring the painting out. Yeah. You know, so mm-hmm. I've come across uh, a certain oh, company. Oh, oh, <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I, just, it's, I can't stop staring at it. I like I really haven't seen, and again, the videos and the pictures don't do it justice. You know, but the use of the negative space. You know. Um, you could have put something behind the bars. You could have did something more. It just, it's the right amount of right. everything and all the places, the, the contrast, the composition, Thank the you. frame, um, how you captured his stare, how you captured the aura, you know, um, even um, the, because again, he keeps his textures and his sparkles, you know, how that does feel like people, you know, it, it makes you think looking at this piece. I see his focal point as Martin. You know, exactly. Yes. I've never seen any piece of any historical figure um, like this. As, as engaging as this piece is. And it's beautiful for anybody. And you can enjoy it as an adult. Mm-hmm. You can enjoy it as a child. And I think I like that even more because, you know, kids, not about the disconnected with art, but because this is such a powerful image message. in itself and yeah. message right. in itself, yeah. it's something that grabs you no matter what age. That's right. You know, as a senior, as a 99-year-old woman, <laughs> you, need to look, you know what <laughs> I mean? Be, you still yeah, can look inspired, and be like, excited, yeah. though, but yeah. it, the energy of it, 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 it excites you. And yeah. this, I'm going to give you another. Give you another hand clap, because... <laughs> I mean, it's been, when did we, we used to do Backyard Boogie, so it wasn't this summer, it was last summer. It was last summer, yeah. 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 Wow. He was, was out great. cold there, too. Yeah. He was out cold there, too. He had some pieces on him, trust me, because some of them sold. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, one, I'm still hurt, still, so I love I'm them. happy for you, but Thank I'm hurt. <laughs> Well, there's no. There are so many uh, different talented artists that you, such as yourself, to Thank you know that we are um, affiliated with. So how long have you been inspired. painting? Well, I've been um, painting for over twenty years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you always done painting? I've or? always been okay. been connected with creativity. Okay. You know, coming up even as a small child, but when I decided to really get into painting and creating art. Um, I was like the age of seven years old wow. <clears throat> at first. Yeah. Just dad and I um, painted, sketch a painting of my mother. And that's when I said, oh, I got the gift. But then later on in my life, I um, this is when I was working at the Charge H. Wright Museum. Um, that's right. Yeah. 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 That was in, a, that was in that. the late, the late 90s. And as I was, I became supervisor. And on my breaks, I used to create art. So cool. And then in my, I had a little size office just like this. Uh-huh. And then I just kept accumulating on my art pieces. And I just happened to have the door open one day, and the president of the museum happened to come past my office and did a double take. And come back and look. It's like, wow, whose art is this? And I was like, it's mine. That is so cool. Days, yeah. I forgot you worked for there. You want to share a little bit about how the experience was? Hold that thought. Yeah. We just want to remind yeah. everybody that you're watching Get Down and Dirty Talking Arts with Calibra the Artist. And Devin Perez. Yes. Uh, you're watching on WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. We're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and uh, Twitter. So Twitter. make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and comment. And also, if you would like to sponsor or advertise, email us at 
working at Charles H. Wright. Um, I did have the opportunity to meet Charles, you know, Mr. Wright before you he passed. Yeah. Really? Oh, cool. Yes. And he, working with a lot of different celebrities that have come through there. But um when did the museum open? Do you remember? I can't remember. I know it had a it had a first starting part um around at the house that was around the corner oh, from I that know space. That. Okay. Yeah, they had a little small space there and then they um advanced to the building where they at now. Very cool. But um, yeah, that was it was so much fun um, working with the museum because um, that's when I learned how to do the schematic. You know, that's when whenever they had events after mm -hmm. the museum closed, mm -hmm. I, had, I was in charge of setting up the um, mezzanine with the tables and oh, everything okay. like that. So yeah, like they, a little event planner. Yeah, so yeah. all they did, they gave us like a, a sheet of paper right. with um, schematic do? on how they want the whole okay. museum set up. Mm -hmm. So I had to go, okay, now this room had to be fixed this way. So we just put the tables in the right place with it, and then the caterers came and put the sheets on, and then it was a so process. Fun. But it was fun, yeah. And then during that time, I would be, you know, when the event is going on, I could be in my office free time mm -hmm. and I would be always creating you know so and cool. then working at the museum that was so inspiring too. that must you know, have been so how, inspiring yeah, yes oh my god all the seeing all the different styles of art mm -hmm. you know different techniques did you ever hang anything any of your work hang in the museum at all yes that's what that's how um, my when I really got serious with to create art mm -hmm. you know and to sell try to sell is when the, the president see my art and then right then she liked it right then and said, you know, we have an exhibit that's going to be going on and you're going to be a part of it. Oh, my I'm God. Like, did you that just was right then. I, I would like, just. Oh, involved. my God. You know, so that happened, you know, it, that was within uh, a couple months. Then my art was in the museum. So as, Charles H. Right. Charles yeah. H. Oh, yes, you yes. are a celebrity. That's you you a really are. I didn't know that. I knew you worked there, but I didn't. That is. Yeah. So I, I when um during the time of the uh, the exhibit of the art, I would just walk past with my outfit on and then see the people engaged in the art. It must have felt so yes. good. Yes. I would just ask them. I said, "Do you like the art?" They say, "Yes, this is beautiful art." I said, well, that's my art. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just love doing that part. But yeah, just seeing the looks on their face when they looked at my art. Doesn't that make you feel good? Yes, when you see Philip, because like today, he's, yeah. he always has a story. That's what I always say. When you're talking about your art, when you engage with that person, that collector, that customer, they want to know about you. They want to know about your art. And yeah. that is so important. Yeah. So many of the artists don't do that. They don't know how to do it. Yeah. You know, but it's just, it's just talking. It's yes, just talking. But, and they and, love it. And as I, you know, by me being so much in I'm shy and don't really speak too much, but what inspired You're me shy. to, well, that's what I'm getting at. I, what inspired me to keep the conversation going is when you inspired me of my art, and then we speaking about art, and I'm, my passion is art, so we could just so keep going. Well, we don't know him as being shy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a great laugh, too. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 Enjoy it. Because it'd be so enjoyable, I just feel it like enjoy, you know. Just, I would be that. I'd be like the giddy, like that, that when you know you bad. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah. Yeah. like, yeah, I know. For real, yeah. there's not bad. I love it. Like, I see you now, Wood. Oh, you see me. I see me too. Oh, y'all got me. That's so cool. Wow. Well, thank you. Your yes, pieces captivate. Um, is that intentional? Do you know that, do you have that in mind when you're doing it or are you just kind of flowing it out or, cause literally like when we were at, um, um, yeah, that place, the spirit, <laughs> cause now ha everything has a new name now. So I, I don't know. know. It's know. Woodward and, and, and yeah, yeah. Woodward and Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> really. When we were at, um, we'll across that. from the, oh. uh, the County building. Oh, oh when yeah. you did that. Yeah. You had <coughs> pieces up and people kept walking just 
it was literally, it was like it would just float them right on into the booth. Like, what is that? That's what, what I always that? call, get them in the booth, people. Right. What is yeah. that? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that. that's my goal that is my goal that is my goal and you know when I create my art that is my whole purpose is to create something that's going to be inspiring <laughs> and to give um, a moment of energy of serenity mm -hmm. you know and then I'm not um, once I completely feel that and see that then I'm through with the painting you know especially mm -hmm. when it comes to abstract you know Man. it when I feel that the energy that that's gonna have you engaged is there, then I say it's finished, you know. Cause that's what I want. I want you to be engaging. And then also with that engagement, you will feel a sense of serenity. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. You know, it's not no dark, dark yeah. um art. It's like a bright it is. It's energy. a happy, it's a ha right. energy. There's right. so much energy with right. this art. That's it's right. Beautiful. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. It does. It just takes your. It's like it gives your soul a rest mm -hmm. for a look second. At it. You know, you just looking and you just take it in every part of it and every single part. And you of always it is see beautiful. something different when you look at it. You always see something just a little different. Say movement, yeah, motion. the movement and the motion. Yeah. Both pieces are yeah. just uh, very powerful. That's where the. That's where my idea, my my goal is when I put glitter, a mm -hmm. little bit of glitter into my paintings, is mm -hmm. to cause that motion. Yeah. You know, because when you it do a little shift, then the but glitter is going to make you look. Like, so it's emotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. just, because I hadn't seen, I'd seen figures, um, mm -hmm. a couple. Mm -hmm. um, and still very, I love with your figures, they're very thought provoking. Like you had one, um, I remember the exact name, I remember Booty. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I, uh, thank God for my. Thank God for my beauty. Yes. But then I had the shape of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was the but I knew, I knew what the message was behind it, but it was such a, you know, a unique message, and it does make you think, and I love that. Mm. You know, and I'm sorry, but, but it stuck here. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, 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 that, I, I do put that joke in, too. That I say, yeah, the, the name of the painting is Thank God for My Beauty. I didn't say the booty. <laughs> because the painting will, it does show the big curve. Of it. Yeah. But, yeah, that's just being creative, but. That's all part of um, expressing. That's that's my purpose. Also, when I create, is to express. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to express that energy that you see in and feel. Mm -hmm. The feeling, that, right? The feelings that and come then across. And in this one, express the message. You know, right. of the of the praise that's in there. That's a, right. a, a great expression to give that you share with someone. We should see if anybody would like to call in and have any questions. Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, if you'd like to call and have any questions for Dawu, please give us a call at 313-355-6018. Again, that's 313-355-6018. I'm supposed to do it this way because that's how y'all speak. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. So anybody, come on, call. Give us a call. Yeah, kind of a thing. I have a question. Um, because your paintings come from such a beautiful place, um, it's rare for us to see that coming from from a man, usually, yeah. especially. You know, um, it's either very dark pieces or very aggressive pieces or or just not that. Like, the only way I can describe your pieces are just they're beautiful. They're coming from a place in your soul that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I love that you express that because it's needed. And I feel like especially coming from a man, you yes. have beauty within you. It's, you know, Thank is you. there something... I guess is that is that intentional, and or and why do you feel that we need that? Do you feel that we need something beautiful first? Well, off? I'm glad I'm glad you brought that. <clears throat> I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I guess this will be the moment. I guess it's a moment you drink. Uh. Yes, this this will be the moment that I will share this because I have not shared this with anyone. No, no, no this far is as, the as magic. Far as, as far as me being an artist and my reason and purpose. You know, um, I was diagnosed with um, depression in the, in the early 90s, mm -hmm. and I have never taken the medication mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I, I have been, I have, I come from a spiritual background from a child and going to private schools and universities as a little child, mm -hmm. spirituality was always taught, and so it's in us to believe that God can heal you 
from anything as long as you praise and give give thanks yeah. to him mm-hmm. so my whole purpose in my art is to like i said express that motivating and inspiring energy as of serenity mm-hmm. you know because that energy is what uh, um, it, um, builds a person that deals that is challenged with depression mm-hmm. so not hopefully my goal is not if I don't get a crowd of people but if I can help one person I got it. that will get that message and it's all about that is so just beautiful. grasping you know the, 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 the wow. greatness and positive energy that we have within right. ourselves right. that we can help ourselves you know as long as we touch it mm-hmm. you know and then like I say but you have to always give praise to God so that you can recognize that. Mm-hmm. So that's that is that's what I was gonna that's ask powerful. you. How do you that is my whole purpose. That is my it's whole something purpose. I feel like too yeah. that are in people, but like you said, being even even being even able to tap into it to express. Yeah. You know, yes. how do you even tap into it? And that's what that greatness, you know, that the that's comes even from, in God. It comes yeah. from the God. And yes, and yeah. spirituality. And spiritual you know, thing. You know. I mean, this is beautiful. Like, it's like it's highlighting you. It's highlighting. It's like, sling, 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 sling. Wow. Your aura and the picture. It's just, it's beautiful. Thank you. Wow. It's Thank beautiful. You. Yes. I'm going to give you another clap. Whoa. Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's clap. I don't think I ever want We want everybody to, to share, like share and this. comment. Just, Please. Comment, yeah. comment, comment, comment. And share, share, share. share. So they can share, share, see who we're talking to. <laughs> So we're doing hey Facebook everybody. Live. We're at Facebook yeah, Live with WJCZ. It's a great opportunity. I'm glad to be here. We're just so I'm glad, glad to have you. Here. Here. Thank you. And going in deep with your, with your work. I mean, it's just, I can't explain it. Words really can't describe it. It's breathtaking. And I'm if glad. The energy is felt, yeah. then that's, that's it. I've done my job. The yeah. energy is felt. You did. Yeah. Like, you really can't stop staring at no. me. You can't. And that's my way of speaking, too. Like, I, I am... <clears throat> bashful always been of speaking mm-hmm. so this is my way of speaking mm-hmm. you know giving that message that's beautiful. like I say uh as long as we're talking about art oh yeah then i can talk for it no, <laughs> but now we go anything else i'm like hmm. <laughs> 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 but yeah that's, that's wonderful is anybody else in your family artistic no no that's, isn't, isn't that interesting yeah. that's good that's very cool. That is so cool. Man, I'm just sitting here. I know this is going to be probably a horrible episode when it comes to me. Because I just want to look like I wow. don't. It's not. I just want to look. Wow. I just My eyes That's keep bouncing back and forth and bouncing back yeah. and forth. And I just want to just take in and look. But we also have this other amazing picture here. Oh, yeah. We should talk about that when we get to Ted <laughs> talking. Yeah. Ted talking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Remember, anybody wants to call in, please yeah. call in. Any questions for him? So, please. how did you feel about TED Talk this year? Yeah, what did you think? That was great. That was a great. I, I mean, the energy was great. You felt I mean, it too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, just walking in each room, each step, walking by each person, you just couldn't help but to conversate. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It yeah. was no, no. Uh, oh, here's a picture. Okay, they're gonna put one of our pictures. Well, once they up. put it. Yeah, it's not quite up. It'll be up in a second. But uh, there it it is. It wasn't no energy of like get away. Right, right. Everybody was very. Yeah, Yeah. and the conversations were just so inspiring. You know, each individual I spoke with. It was some amazing people. Information that they had, and then information that they were giving as far as positive energy. There was a lot of positive energy going on there with all the talks and everything like that, you know. So let's take a real fast break. And say, sure. Hi. <laughs> Hello. You're watching Get Down Dirty Talking Art on WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world, streaming on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. Uh, you're watching with your host, Kaliba the Artist, and Debbie LaFrat. Yes. We have our wonderful guest today, Mr. Dawu Shabazz. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about his art. Uh, and now we're just getting into uh, well, the TED TEDx. TEDx. TEDx yes. Detroit today, the three of us. Yes, yeah. all right. So, okay. And hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Come on up. It hasn't come up yet. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Okay. Now, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 313-355-6018. And if you want to call and tell us how wonderful we looked at TEDx, That's right. call us again at 313-355-6018. 
right. <laughs> See, they're going to put the other picture up. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you for coming at the drop of the dime, too. Because literally, we called. We didn't expect to have that much space, is what it was. It was you know? like... We were thinking, you know, we're just going to have a little space, you know, we have a little table, have a little something, you know, whatever. And then when we got there, it's like, you got this. So we ran home and got all right, all right, let's do this, that, that, that. that. And we didn't want to just showcase ourselves. Um, And that's the idea. Anybody, when we do pop up galleries, we want to be able to showcase art, not just our art, art that suits any type of person. So So we want to support Detroit artists. Detroit the artists. If you guys want to put that that picture up, that would be really great. So if I call you and say you got art, (laughs) come on. Yeah, don't be shy. Come on now. I was like, well, (laughs) I'm driving. No, take off. But I can get there. And boy, did he get there. You want to talk about this piece? Oh, that was that was exciting when I, when I seen everybody taking pictures. I didn't I didn't know that we could just um, get in line and just take a free picture. I thought they were paying, but uh, I didn't know. But I was seeing that everybody was posing in front of the X. And, yeah. Uh, that picture. And then they, 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 they were probably they were actually a lot of people were looking. They loved your, the blue and they loved the other ones. It was like yeah, this okay. is the one we're talking about on the. Oh, okay. The there we are. Oh, Here I is. like okay. that picture. Is, look at this. Oh. It's like a magazine cover. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Everybody, everybody there got to hit, stay, hold the X. It yeah. was really cool. We had so we had fun. We yeah, had it was one musician there. Um, he had his. Um, I think it was, little piano oh, heavy, yeah. but he was able to set his on top of the X that and take so a picture. Cool. That, was, oh, that was a good wow. picture. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm going to have to go through and look at the pictures. Because I saw perfect. somebody, she was down there standing up doing a handstand. Yeah, I see wow. those people. I'm like, yeah. Wow. And I didn't know what they were doing. Oh, here I am. I didn't know until you was like, I got my pictures. <laughs> I would had a good time. <laughs> I was like, oh, it was pictures. <laughs> and here, here I am. I was holding the X up. Holding it up. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're trying, everybody's trying to do a different wow, pose so. with the X. And here's yeah. Calibri looking all cool and just like, yeah. And right. X is for xylophone. I feel like Sesame Street. If we gonna do it, we gonna do it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. It was just, it was just yeah, so was great. I would have, I could stay there all day and just, I mean, for like 12 hours. Just, you know. Kind of thing. Here we food. are. Had to get some food, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I came home and uh, had me some steak bites. Yeah. Well, here we are, the nice three of us. Season. We got to we got to the, uh, yes. take our picture with us up and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, but so it was sad talk. It was so <coughs> cool. It was cool, and I loved how you went into full blown A <laughs> and R mode. I talked to you everybody. Debbie Lapratt is A and R for this station. I talked to um, everybody. It's such yes. good energy. But uh, just really, I hey, hate. Uh, Calibri. <laughs> yeah. What you think about such, such? I'm like, all right, A&R. We talk to him. Uh, so for those of you tuning in, if I told you I was going to call you, I'm going to call you. I'm going to be looking. Right now, I stalk people. I look at your page. I look at your resume. That's I look right. to see what you're about. I look to see where you fit. Do, 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 do. Does this work? All right. Okay. So I'll be calling. Yeah. But that was so cool. It was so cool. I mean, so I've joined all these people. Oh, God, we got to talk to her. Got to talk to her. Got to talk to her. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. You know, you know me. Let's put her on there. See if we can get another photo up, guys. But it was just the energy around it, the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just it was so great. I know by the time you got there, the cafeteria was closed. Yeah. Somebody well, actually, I was, that, that happened because I was, was enjoying I, the yeah. conversation with three other people before I got to the, right, um, right, the, the right. cafeteria. Yeah. But it was all great. It was yeah. all great. It was all meant And to. this is... Oh, We're in a Sonic. We're in a Sonic. This is a collaboration. That's the title of the piece. This is a collaboration <laughs> of okay. Calibri and I. I did that these. these Look the, at the, that. Um, I would say the villages. Oh, my God. I did the cityscape, and Calibri did the backgrounds, and we call those Detroit clouds. Mm-hmm. And what size is that? What did you say? Uh, is it 16 by 20? I don't know. Yeah. It's on oh, canvas. Okay. That is oh. Oh. And no, it's on wood. Oh, it's on wood. That's it's right. on, it's wood. on wood. Because the weight of the uh, the pottery the cannot ceramics. go on a canvas. Yeah. The, the oh. ceramic one. The, you know, because it would weigh it. You don't want to pull it. Now, this is one of oh, This is one of the pieces so I was that, painting that or intended on painting there. And then I got... Um, Enthralled is that the right word <laughs> with the Kaepernick piece? So I didn't get a chance to go back to painting. And this now, one t- live. tell them what that is. This one is holy matrimony, it is in the works. Um, 
And it's oil. Isn't I just it? want to show love. Yeah, oil does mm-hmm. look like yeah, it shows like yeah. it's, it goes into my series of a series of intimate expressions, mm-hmm. <laughs> which you guys will see another taste of in the next photo. <laughs> But I just want to show love. Yeah. This is just a little bit of my little display. Those are my signature colors. I love primary colors. Okay. And the other one has it too, but it's more subtle. Yeah. So um, less bold. But this one, I like bold, unmixed colors. And yeah, that was our, it just, it it felt nice to hang art. It really was. In a place that normally wouldn't have. Right, right, right. Like the and, we and, and, and to have people appreciate your oh, art yeah. when they you see know, it, they yeah. would yeah, really, be engaged you know, and appreciate it. to a lot of people, yeah. stuff like that. Now, this is some more of Calibri's, and you can see our little, yeah. we're um, promoting that WJZZ colors. Cool TV, our show. You know, and I love the one with the kids. Detroit Clouds. Mm-hmm. Detroit Clouds. Yeah. The yeah. snuffing grounds. That <laughs> building, too, in the, the far left corner. It's, um, it's no longer there. It was on Grand River prior to the pandemic. And I don't know, I just wanted to. I love Grand River. Oh, yeah. I actually even mess with the kids. I'm like, y'all want to float the river? Like, if I <laughs> like take the scenic route, I drive down Grand River to the thing. Okay. Um, but I wanted to show a nice, strong pair of legs. I up Grand River. Oh. And that building in um, the background isn't there anymore. Wow. So it's actually. It's like she's um, captured a piece of history. Yeah, literally. Just like somebody else. Literally, you say history grabbing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's the word you use today. Yes, oh, this, is, <laughs> this is a Calibri painting. Mm. It was so cool. I walk up and she's making these faces and going, "Are you okay?" <laughs> yes. I'm just working. It was so. Cool. I didn't notice them, and then when she pointed them out, cool. like people were like, "Yeah," but it was so cool to that. see. You could see she was really. Working and really, you were really working on I mean, it. You were sure really like become a masterpiece. Like, yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> so talk about this piece real fast. Well, it's we got it hanging. Yes. Wanted to show it to you guys. Um, you know, basically show what we were doing today. Yeah. I was painting. Debbie was, was working. I was. I was. I was. I was doing that's the beginning stage. Uh-huh. Right here. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still some pe- uh, parts yeah. coming in, but behind you. Right. That's. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the piece behind you, we actually have it hanging up. Right. Um, and it's hard. You actually really still can't get it, uh, can't appreciate it from the right. station. Thing, right. But right. Right. That's the shadows. Black Cap. That's what it's called. It's called Black Cap. <laughs> Black Cap is going to be the title. Okay. I was calling it something different. Um, I actually wanted to, and I do a lot of surtitles with okay. my paintings, like books, so it might have something like that. But I wanted to do Black Cap. Um, as American as I almost Apple see Pie. blue in his in his um, wife. That's what they were saying up front. They were saying that they wanted. I didn't to see that earlier, but now I see the blue. I think it is the type of black that I use. I use multiple shades of black, and then also wow. I mix colors so that you can get a uh, great effect. But right I right also do. think it's the light shining That's on it. It's like so cool. But um, American is pumpkin pie. And I I wanted to do it that way because football is considered such an American sport. Yes. Um, you have somebody that is if he were white he would really be like the poster boy for the league, you know. But mm-hmm. that's not it. He's black because my black people are black, <laughs> so he's black, so he's black. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Right. But we have it in the tones of the American flag, uh, red, white, and blue. If you were to t- Turn it horizontally; it would look like the flag. You oh, know, I see it. The stripes yeah. and the square. And say what size this yeah. is. Yeah, this is. Aw, oh, I think four feet by two and a half feet. Say maybe three feet. It's a nice size. Maybe I don't think both. it's quite three feet okay. across, but it's at least four feet tall. Right. And, it's a work um, in progress. It's a work in the progress, but the message is there. It's just yeah. me making sure the details are there. So the story is there. Yeah. He has bars behind him. The ropes are are nooses, um, but made into bars. <coughs> he got everybody black rooting for him. Mm. He got you know the white cop with his hand on his on his gun, you know, yeah. and saluting the flag. He's <laughs> eager for him to mess up. Well, I wait though you mess up, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> he at the gun line, so it's a lot of subliminals. And um, if you do get to see this piece once it's finished in person, I encourage you to look for Waldo because he's in there as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I gotta yeah. know that. Oh, okay. We're gonna Fun have to fact, 
Whenever I paint crowds, I always put wall jelly. So okay, I'm gonna get off of that. I'm gonna get off that your I like to do little silly stuff. Yeah, you know. it's like me with my fingerprints. Yeah, signature yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. points. Yeah. 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 So people be like, is that? No. <laughs> I just like messing with people. I like That's that. That's that creativity. I like that. I like right. That. Waldo that behind good. bars, too. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Even Waldo. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys want to yeah. put some more photos up, go ahead. We can look at this one just there, but you ain't I just skip know, over yeah. mine. You had yeah. a piece there, too. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of dark. You see, the no. big, you see the words. You can big see the D. word. It's the yes. big D. It big is actually D. the yeah. cityscape. It's kind of oh, okay. yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of dark. It's kind of dark. Well, yeah, but it's still the cityscape with gold exactly and it's like my, part of my midnight collection okay. and it was like when i finished it i'm like well sometimes you just you have to yeah. set it back and yes. you have to like okay yeah, be amazed and it's like i t- pulled it out and i went wow because yeah. I, I re you know i redid it and i'm just like was working on it and i'm like so yeah this one is like i think it's like i think it's so about 20 book. yeah about yeah. 20 inches by maybe uh, t- oh, 10 or something like that. I don't know the exact size, you know. And I always sign my work with a fingerprint, and on the back you'll always see fingerprints. And this weekend at, um, what was it, um, what was it, the um, Eastern Market, um, All Things Detroit, Detroit. Mm. I met an, art, um, an artist. Okay. He's a plaster guy, and he's been following my work. Wow. And he gets up, and, oh, here comes some more of my work. He comes up. And he says, I really like your work. I've been following you, and yeah. I, I see you at Art Seats and Beats. And so we talked, and we talked. And he talked about how I do the fingerprint, and yeah. on the back, you can see all my handprints. Right. He goes, guess what he does? In every piece of plaster, he takes and he puts his handprint. Mm. And he's called um, Detroit Herald. Wow. I think it was Detroit Herald, Detroit Herald. Uh, uh, I think it's Detroit Herald. I don't remember exactly, but it's on Facebook. And he actually did um, it at the uh, Little Caesars Arena. Okay. And they wrote a big story about him. So you inspire so, a lot of artists. Yeah, well, he's yeah. been, I I, we didn't I know. I think he, you guys yeah, probably need to collab. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact, this is Detroit Deb. If you ever heard <laughs> me say that I'm dead serious about it. This is Detroit Deb. She's all over the place. Her, her, and I mean out in the city on the scene. Like, if you're out on the scene, you'll see Debbie Lucrat say, What up, though? Because she's out there, you know? And then even her work, like, everything involved with Detroit is Detroit, like, literally Detroit Deb. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the odds of her running into Detroit, what's the name? Detroit Hank. Or, or Detroit Herald. 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 I'm Detroit. sorry. I think it's Detroit Herald and Detroit okay. Howard. Something. Well, Detroit. They need to have a collaboration. Yes, we do. But when he said great. about where he's got his handprint, I go, that is so cool. So he told his kid, do I pass away? Go check out my hand. <laughs> you know, I said, you should do photos and, and have a little book and stuff like that. Uh, but so, okay, here's another picture we can bring up. This is kind of what my display kind of looked like. I have my collection of all the Detroit kind of, okay, what, what, what did we call it? You had a name for Oh, the history grabbers. Yeah. History grabbers. I yeah. love that. So that's yeah. my new thing. It's like I'm a history grabber. Yeah. You know, and I have yeah. my Detroit manhole, and I have my, uh, um, what is it, my patch in the final game, some manholes, and I have the you know, UG, no, not UG, Detroit Mercy, the the patch. And you can see the Detroit, you know, my Detroit skyline kind of in the middle. But that's kind of what our booth kind of looked like. Yeah, last night we yeah, came with what, a couple like panels. We went back to my house and got every panel we did, so we reset it up. Wow. It's like, okay, let's go get some more. We didn't know. We had no idea. It's like, you know. Wow. Like, little, okay, we're going to go right back. We got time. We're about to shoot right back. Yeah, in. we did. So we who did. was driving? We still we had both. two separate cars. Okay, okay, okay. Car. okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I was driving. Zoom, zoom. We did. We did. We did. It was Thank like, God everybody I called was you safe. on the way back from getting them. Like, look, we were going here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was cool. I'm glad it all Very worked out cool. well. We just I, had, you know, yeah. just I'm glad you. Uh, I, I was. Yeah. Uh, I we was amongst too. the ones to call, and I was able to be there. I'm glad. I'm that, glad. I'm yeah. Glad you, <laughs> you know, it was just okay. Let's go. Yes. Okay. You know, let's take a real fast break. You know. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. You're watching Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Kaliba V. Artist and Debbie LaPrat. On WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. Mm-hmm. We're streaming on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook Live. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And if you would like to advertise or sponsor, email us at WJZZ Cool TV official at gmail.com. Oh, and also, <laughs> sponsor, we are also sponsors. Debbie LaPrat and Danahan Arts are sponsors of WJZZ. Mm. 
WJZZ Jazz Radio and WJZZ Cool TV. Yeah, yeah, I always get them mixed up. But it's okay. They all know what I'm talking about. So make sure you guys share and comment on Facebook. Please, the more shares and the more comments, we just want everybody to know. So. And call us. Hey, call us. Call us. Call we us. talk. It's 313-355-6018. If you have questions on art, if you have questions for Mr. Shabazz, if you have Mr. questions Me? on TEDx, right. if you want to tell us, we was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we are pretty, call too. Call us at 313-355-6018. <laughs> yeah. uh, so. Well, you know, I'm going to be busy uh, for a whole few months to come like. You know, we have the exhibit going on at uh, uh, Westland City Hall. Mm -hmm. City. Yes. That's, you know, we just dropped the pieces when, off there. That's when going, is that coming? When is that open? Well, that's from, oh, that's that going, thought. We got a yeah, caller. Be, mm -hmm. Oh, we have a caller. Hello, Hello caller. Hello, caller. Who are we speaking with? This is Reginald. Hello, Reginald. Hi, hey, Reginald. Detroit Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> this is Reggie. Hi. 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 So, you have a question or a comment? I just want to say how good of a job you guys are doing. I think you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You got any questions for anybody? I think you guys are wonderful. Thank you. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. So, I have a question. Is this Reginald the chef? Oh, no, not right now. Oh. Not right now. I just, I just want to wish you guys, I just want to wish you guys all all the love in the world. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you Reginald. Bye. Thank you. Reggie the chef. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now I want like some, some, some caffeine, some coffee. Stay. I want some good food. Like I don't want to lay down. I want to eat, but I want something like delicious. <laughs> <laughs> some seafood. Yeah, some, nice yeah. Seafood. yeah. Yeah, that is so, great. So talk more about your um, what you got yes, going on. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Um, in um, Westland, there they the exhibit going on until um, all through November. Okay, when is the opening? I believe it started. No, at the um the November the eighteenth. Okay. November the eighteenth is reception. Mm -hmm. And then it's a nice. Uh, I've, I've been there before. Mm -hmm. so this is really, my first time. The yeah, three it's a really city, nice. Um, three a couple of years ago, deal. it is a big it's deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, because they have that one whole room. Um, Dorothy Jet Carter, Rods Carter, uh, photographer, and uh, I don't know what the, but he wrote like poems of rare poetry. He was there, mm -hmm. and it was a very, very fantastic. You know, mm -hmm. very, very nice. Um, you know, it, place and stuff like that. So that's very cool. Yeah, that was that was that's a yeah, great so opportunity. And then with that, they have they're gonna have me busy as far as with that exhibit, and then after that breaks down, we go back for the uh, Black History Month. I'm gonna have some paintings. And where is that gonna be? That's gonna be at the same space. Oh, that is so same cool. Space, yes. And then once that's gonna be for the whole month for the Black History Month. Okay. And then once we go back to break that down, that same day, I have to present 50 pieces of art for my solo. Exhibit, so. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Where is that gonna be? The same space, uh, the Westland City Hall. Yes. Yeah. Are you yeah. working like 50. a madman? Well, I'm always creating pieces, yeah. so I have. But I want. I'm. I'm preparing some never seen before pieces you have to, let to us add know. on. With we're gonna put know. this on our. We'll have to send and our stuff, and then we will be posting that on our page. We gotta go. So that's we gotta the, go. This got to be a field loop. trip. Y'all gotta yeah. come. Yeah. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Westland yeah, City Hall. Yeah. And that's yeah. on. I can't remember what road that is on. Um, that's on. Um, what is it? Westland. But it's Westland City Hall. It's a yeah. really nice yes. place. Very yeah. American. Five six nine. Um, yeah. I've been there a couple times. You gotta be excited for this to be on your first solo show. Yes, yeah, so fifty. So that was, that was she actually said you have to have at least fifty pieces so they can uh, complete the whole wall. You know, the mm -hmm. whole area. They don't want to have no spaces empty. Whoa, so, uh, so good for you. You know, I have I have about that many pieces anyway. I do. Right. But um, I want to have some variety of different sizes. You know, I have a lot of small pieces, but I'm creating. Um, middle, middle size and large pieces, mm -hmm. and then I'm saying I'm coming with this style here. This this style here is is considered my let loose. I like that. This is this is gonna, this is gonna be a series of let loose. Okay. It's where that that freestyle creativity mm -hmm. just going straight at it, mm -hmm. at the, and then my style of the forms. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna okay. have 
a mixture of both. I like the, that. The Let Loose style series and then the forms of the abstract. Wow. Man, so cool. And then that's it. Yeah, like I said, I've been busy. And then tomorrow, um, Danielle Hatcher, she invited me to um, be a part of this silent auction. It's going to be at um, Demi's um, Restaurant and Bar, okay. which is which is located at 24201 West Santa Mile okay. Road. And this is tomorrow, tomorrow from 6 to 8. And it's going to be um, the... Um, a gathering of um, socializing. That's what they promoting. That everybody should so be socialized, cool. you know, um, safely. Auction. Yeah, and they have the silent auction. Before? No, the silent not not auction. the silent auction. How many pieces auction. are you taking? Well, I'm I'm I already just told her of two pieces, but I'm gonna surprise her with a larger piece that's gonna be considered somewhat like a donation. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the auction the starting we'll bid very this, low, yeah. mm-hmm. but we'll it's share this because it's for it's for a good cause. It says it's for um, 30% of the proceeds goes to the APC Cultural Group, which is a low um, a- academic prevention program That's for, nice. for youth and parents. I like that. I like so it. this is a good... Um, That's yeah. so you know, cool. And that's a really be. great way to raise money through the arts. I mean, it's one thing people always do to art exhibits, but the silent auctions, because yeah. really people cool. don't expect it half the time. Mm-hmm. And when they see artwork, and they're like, okay, it's just, it's exciting to bid. It's just something about an auction. It, it is. Just, it brings out the boss in people. Mm-hmm. Especially cool. if they put a bid down and come back and look. Like, like oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I really want this, so I got to do more. Uh, yeah, we'll put this on our page. So, yes, yes. you know, we'll get all the information, and we'll put it on our page. And do you have a website or a... Oh, well, yes, I have, um, everything is connected to Dawood Shabazz okay. Art. We'll that is my, on our page to that share is, um, so people can find you. Can you spell it? Yeah. D-A-W-U-D, <laughs> this is Dawood, and then Shabazz, <laughs> S-H-A-B-A-Z-Z-A-R-T. Um, that's, that's my website as far as, um, dot com, Dawood Shabazz Art dot com, and then also Dawood Shabazz Art at gmail.com mm-hmm. and then also um Dawood Shabazz art for Instagram so okay. I was able to capture Dawood Shabazz art for everything oh, <laughs> to make so it easier cool. for everybody to you can just google Dawood Shabazz yeah. and everything will come up that's my laugh there <laughs> like I got him <laughs> <laughs> thank you Dawood mm, Shabazz you. art <laughs> that's right that's right do you yeah. have any advice that you want to offer anybody else? That's me, Lord. That's my son. I'm about to put him on air. <laughs> <laughs> my son. <laughs> Do you well, have I, any words of wisdom or advice you want to give? Just, like I say, um, always allow that freestyle of energy. Be creative. You know, and sometimes when you when you go straight at it that, and allow f- that free energy to come from within and then you grasp at it, you know, and meditate and see what the message is for you. Because there's always a message that's meant for you to be um, touched with. That's uh, within so wow. Yeah, we have that within ourselves, the energy. We yeah. do. Yeah. That is very cool. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It was fun. So good question. Um, what do we always say? What is, um, it was a positive note. And we're not that quite was that positive yet. note. Yeah. That was that positive note. Yeah. I want to add one just period because we had an experience today too. Yeah. You know, and I think that's um, grasp not every opportunity, but when you feel it as an opportunity, don't let it scare you away. That's right. Mm. Shake it, um, embrace yes, it, and that's don't good, let yeah. obstacles deter you because a lot of times when you're in the middle of an opportunity is when it will be, you got to climb. That's right. You know, there were things that happened even while we were trying to get there, even down to this morning, setting mm. up, you know, and you just have to decide, I'm going to do this. Yep. This is my time to shine. I'm going to be the best me I can be and that's do, right. do your best that you do it. And you pray. Right, <laughs> right. That's, that's it. Yes, that's the do. great. That's pray. a great thing there. That's, that's right. Pray. Yeah. You, know, you always say. Yeah. I always say. There's always an opportunity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just take it and embrace it and yeah. just go for it. I always say, no is not in my vocabulary. <laughs> it's, just, I, it's not. I, you know, it's not in my vocabulary. I right. will figure out a way, and we'll do it. And we've had so many great opportunities, and yeah. it, just it was meant to be. Flowing in, and right. it's like, whoa. Like all day today, it was like all the people that we met. Yeah, it was like it was almost 
you know, I was like, we, we were like two little kids going, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I were, I were. Yeah, yeah, There's so much excitement everywhere, everywhere it you was, turn, right? Was. Everybody was engaged. Was. That was beautiful. It was just you know, it was really fun. It was no we're separateness. So it was all together. To that was great. Yeah. You know, kind of our last minute guest. But we've wanted to have you anyways. Yes. You know, sometimes last minute doesn't well, matter. It was yeah. right. It, it felt was right. right. It was meant to be. Right. It, it felt right. right. Yeah. 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 All right, everybody. Well, thank you for tuning in yeah. and watching. <laughs> Remember. Thank you for having me. Like us. Share. Share, share, share. WJZZ. Cool TV. Get down and dirty talking art. See you next Wednesday. On our Facebook page, too, because that's where it all goes down. Right. (laughs) Right. That's right. Night, everybody. Good night. Good night. night. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you.